afternoon everybody uh, uh, my name is Diki Arga Anggara uh, I'm from Indonesia it's nearby Singapore now uh, I study computer science at Tianu Suantara University and yes I'm a programmer and I also open source enthusiast that's why uh, I join and lead a open source community in my campus called it Toscom or uh, Dinus Open Source Community. I also a Mozillian uh, as Firefox student ambassador formerly and now as Mozilla tech speaker. Uh, this community is a non-profit organization so uh, for making money uh, I work as front-end developer at uh, mytarget.co and uh, yes my hobby is coding but I have another hobbies my another hobbies is cycling so when I try to combine my two hobby it will look like this <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> why not uh, coding while cycling uh, okay uh, you can find out more about me at dikarga.com or on social media at dikarga or we can work together at github here's my github account okay uh, let's start uh, uh, Tilinoco OS is a project by Dinus open source community uh, it's begin uh, because we had a same problem is it's really really hard to uh, get start with programming for a computer science student in our country because they need to having to deal with uh, unfamiliar development environment like uh, installing compiler IDE and also configuration etc etc so we create a operating system that designed for programmers. It's called Tilenok OS. Uh, uh, we especially uh, for uh, newbie programmers, so they can easily catch up uh, with development environment. <laughs> and we we try to um, create uh, to spread uh, Tilenok OS. Um, start from small we are trying to uh, influence ad, uh, other other friends to use still in the OS and then until my campus decide to uh, use still in the OS as a uh, system operation in about 400 computer in a computer laboratory in my campus and this is, is one of uh, reason why Tilinuk is great and the other reason is a uh, piracy issue in Indonesia uh, from from this chart <coughs> as you can see uh, almost 80 percent software in Indonesia is unlicensed or piracy it's a, a bad news for us but we're trying to um, solve this problem by uh, uh, free and open source software <laughs> and spreading on open source. So that's why we create Tilinoco OS from eight years ago until now, and we will uh, release every year, and this year is in May. So, uh, how Tilinux OS can help a uh, programmer, especially a newbie programmer? Uh, we create uh, some tools or applications like G Module Installer. So, this is an uh, installer like. Sorry. So you can install a development environment like a text editor, um, programming language, or 
compiler, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, with graphical user interface. Because uh, newbie programmer, the familiar with terminal like this, right? So the so we we, we simplify that things by graphical user interface like this. So you can just click what you need and just install it. Or you can a bundle. Uh, OK, the next thing is we create a T package manager, just like in Windows.exe or in Mac is dot, dot DMG, just like that. So we can transfer um, program or application uh, between computers offline because in Indonesia uh, internet is it's not like in here <laughs> you know uh, this app is also offline and available on directly on DVD or the ISO so then they don't need to connect internet to install all of them and we come with two two dim uh, the first one is dark dim and light dim, uh, because based on our small research to developer, they prefer to use uh, dark dim, right? <laughs> because it uh, can make uh, you stay more longer on the front of computer. And we also create a dim switcher, so you can easily um, easily switch dim as fast as easily as like this. And we also create a dev report. Uh, so, so the user can easily uh, report our bugs uh, directly from the OS. No need to email or something like that. And it directly create a issue on the our repository. And Tilinuko OS using Firefox Developer Edition as a default browser because uh, a majority of user is developer. Okay, that's is Tilinuko OS, and we just create a a Tilinuk Studio. This is okay. Let's open. Uh, it's still in Bahasa, and it's still beta, but uh, I guess it's a little bit cool. Uh, basically, is you can create a, your own operating system with a few single click. Like, okay, let's try. You can just uh, give a name of your your OS, maybe Force Asia OS, and select the architecture. You can also select the DIM, icon, wallpaper, or you can uh, upload your own wallpaper. And you can also select the uh, which application uh, you are you want to install. And just build. Uh, the build process is in our server, and and you after this, you will get uh, ISO. Dot ISO. So when you install it, everything you choose will be installed, pre-installed. Uh, we also create a project. This is under development, actually. Uh, call it modularity. So uh, this is contain a packet, a packet of uh, development environment. Like maybe if you are full stack developer, 
you just need a like this or front end we bundle it uh, as but it's still in under progress okay okay this is, is our team so what we can learn from here um, we try small we start small uh, we try to help our friends and then our campus and maybe our country just start it small if you like to contribute let's go to Chilino or download I mean uh, you can go to chilinoqs.org slash n slash contribute <laughs> um, we believe that uh, open source can open your mind and also make this world a better place uh, that's it for me thank you so much uh, let me know if you have any question thank you uh, does anybody have any questions sure. yeah uh, do you have any mirrors, or do you uh, are you using any mirrors in in, in Tunisia uh, for package it? Sorry. Uh, do you use any mirrors in uh, Indonesia for your packages? Yeah, we have a repository. You mean? Yes. Uh, we have Penguin. Penguin. This is a, our repository. That is in local server in my campus, so it can be fast. Nice. I noticed when the, you were showing the slide about um, the costs of piracy that yeah. the U.S. was at the top. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> because of the total costs, right? Not yeah, by but percentage, but it's still interesting to me. Okay, where is this? Yeah, there you go. But uh, the presentation is the biggest one. Right. Yeah. In Indonesia, not only software. Uh, film music is, is commonly and it's so sad yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know <laughs> I know <laughs> uh, any other questions about T Linux OS yeah. uh, you can build a custom image using the T Linux studio yeah yeah uh, so is there any way you can verify the image verify uh, uh, like check some or uh, 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 we, we don't do that. <laughs> we, do, we don't do it yet um, because yeah, we just uh, create and then deliver it. Just it. Thank you. <laughs> yes. This is good uh, uh, advice. Thank you. Oh yeah, uh, if you want to try Tilinoco S, uh, you can. Uh, get it and or you can download it on tilnopas.org uh, yeah that's it okay thank you okay awesome